So we have a circle with radius three and arc length of four. We want to know the sector angle. So I've kind of sketched a diagram here to give a give me an approximation of what this might look like. So I've got my radius of three. That arc length is a little bit longer than the radius. Okay, now this isn't perfectly accurate, but gives me an idea of what I'm looking for. We want to know the sector angle. Okay, so there's a formula for this, but really if we don't remember the formula, that's fine because we can just use the the ratio of the angle, sector angle, divided by the whole circle, which is 2 pi radians, that fraction is equal to the fraction in terms of the arc length. Okay, so the part arc length of 4 centimeters divided by the whole circumference, which is 2 pi times the radius r, Okay, that's going to give me the sector angle, theta. So notice that when we do this, the two pi's cancel out, and we end up with theta equals just 4 over 3. And that's 4 over 3 radians. Okay, so there is a formula. Basically, it's the arc divided by the radius will give us the sector angle. But again, we don't really need to know this because it's the fraction of part to whole, so part angle over the whole angle, so theta over 2 pi, is equal to the part circumference, which is the arc, over the whole circumference. So it's the part to whole ratio. And if we remember that the, the ratio of the fraction of part to whole, it's same with the angle, the arc, and circumference, and the even the area, we can just use that ratio to figure out uh, the unknown parts of the ratio. So in this case here, it works out to 4 over 3. And if you really want to know the formula, the formula in radians is, so the angle in radians is equal to the arc length over circumference. Sorry, arc length, not the arc length over the radius. Okay, solving. When we're solving, we need to first solve the equation. In this case, we have a quadratic equation, so we need to first solve the quadratic equation. Once we've solved the quadratic equation, we can solve for the angle. So first thing is I need to factor this. So I'm going to factor this. So I have a, I'm going to, it's 2 cosecant squared plus 3 cosecant minus 9. So I'm just going to do this in terms of x's. I know that I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 18, and they have a difference of three, well, that's gonna be negative, or po sorry, positive six and negative three. So when I factor this, I get two minus three, and then x plus three. Okay, so when I factor this, this becomes co two cosecant theta, minus 3 times x plus 3, oops, that's not x, it should be cosecant, so cosecant theta plus 3, and that's equal to 0. In this case, we end up with cosecant theta equals 3 over 2, and cosecant theta equals negative 3. We need to solve, put it into sine because cosecant is a little bit awkward, so I'm just going to put this into sine. So once I've solved for the cosecant, to get sine, I just flipped the fraction. Now, these are not exact values, so I have to use my calculated to calculate this. So I'm going to do the arc sine of two-thirds, and that's going to give me 0.729, so I'm going to round that to 0.73. So theta 1 is equal to 0 0.73. Okay, theta 2 is equal to well, pi minus that. Okay. 
and that gives me 2.411, something around that to 2.41. So 2.41, and since the 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 period is pi two pi, I know that the the there's no horizontal compression on this, so the period is two pi. So in this domain, we know we have all the solutions. We have one period worth of solutions here. So solving for the other one, I need to arc sine negative one third. That gives me negative 0.3398. So I'm going to round that to negative 0.34. Negative 0.34 radians. And then theta 4 is just going to be pi minus that. So pi minus that angle gives me 3.48 radian. Okay, so then again, I, I know my period is going to be 2 pi because there's no horizontal compression or expansion on that angle. So my period is 2 pi, so I know that I have one period worth of solutions here, and that one period fits the domain that I was given here. 